The Weatherby's Maiden is the first of this week's big maiden races and big fields. All the new horses in these, just one or two of the older ones that haven't managed to get a win yet. And it's a one mile six furlong, three rolls and upwards race this time. So last samurai for Ryan Tanasebi, looks good kill for Craig Allen, Marco Van Basten for Satya, Mr. Underhill for Padraig Hogan, pitch perfect for Graham Clutterbuck, Transfic Turk for Ryan Costello and Zeffirelli Rose for Padraig Hogan. All newcomers, Bronze Demon for Paul Rhodes and Crafty Salam for Steve Rann have been around for a little while. Fortune Hunter, David Hooley, Invisible Craig Beckwith, Jammer Cottage, James Shea and Salazzi, Darren Thompson are all newcomers as well. Dazzy Bawley, Dan Hughes, First Vacation, Martin Leedham and Melbourne, Namibia for David Robertson have been around a bit. And Riot Act for Leon Von Rensburg and Suivez Taverner for Thomas Rogers are newcomers as well. They're all installed and away they go. And luckily, we've only got the one little bit of a turn to take. And there shouldn't be too many bad looks to us, because you've got the best part of a mob and a quarter to straighten yourself out if you're caught wide. And it's right over on that far side, pitch perfect just about in the lead early on from Invisible. And Invisible has now probably come through to take it up. So Invisible and pitch perfect disputing the lead. And they're a good couple of lengths clear of Dazzy Bawley, the grey and the blue jacket who is in third place then Marco Van Basten so maybe call a football references there Marco Van Basten of course is the famous footballer but Dazzy Bawley maybe that's referring to Alan Bawley who's playing for Everton in a blue jacket because the jockey's got a blue jacket on that would suit me very nicely thank you very much it's pitch perfect in the lead from Invisible in second and then Marco Van Basten in third with Crafty Salam after that one, and then Dazzy Bawley, and then Zeffirelli Rose. It looks like we've gone on to some jockey cabin. We don't do that on the flat all that often. And we're on Looked Could Kill at the moment, and now we're on Last Samurai. And now we've gone back to a more normal shot. Pitch perfect the then from Invisible Second, and then a good two length gap back to Marco Van Basten and Crafty Salam and Salazzi's next, and then Dazzy Bawley and Zeffirelli Rose. Jammer Cottage is after that one, looking towards the back. There's one or two of these around a shot. Riot Act is um, the back marker, I think, just at the moment, with Transfit Turk on the inside being pushed along. Also towards the back, Mr. Underhill is also nearer the back than the front at the moment, but it's pitch perfect that's in the lead from Invisible in second. Salazzi Salazzi is coming through with a run, then Marco Van Basten, then Dazzy Bawley is next, then Last Samurai on Crafty Salam is next there, but it's still pitch perfect in the lead, and they're already inside the final six furlongs, and pitch perfect is trying to sing a good tune for Graham Clutterbuck in the lead by two lengths to Dazzy Bawley in second, Last Samurai looks to be going really well on the outside in third, Salazzi is there, Zeffirelli Rose is there as well, Invisible is being scrubbed along, also coming to it now is Melbury Namibia, towards the back of the pack first vacation and transfix turk are probably the two struggling the most they're past the four furlong pole and pitch perfect is still in the lead but last samurai and dazzy Bawley are close enough to challenge melbury namibia is going well so too salazzi then comes invisible zeller any rose crafty salam marco van basten's lost its place then first vacation is trying to run on as well but it's pitch perfect who's still in front with two and a half furlongs to go pitch perfect from last samurai dazzy Bawley. then comes mr underhill who's now suddenly coming it from nowhere. First vacation is another one who's also started to run on from the back, but it's pitch perfect in the lead. Last Samurai and Dazzy Bawley. First vacation is after that one. Then Crafty Salam and Riot Act. Dazzy Bawley hits the front. Last Samurai immediately challenges him They're inside the final furlong, and it's Last Samurai in the lead. Last Samurai is beginning to pull away, finishing fast in his Jammer Cottage, but it's Last Samurai is the first past the post, and Last Samurai is going to take it. Last Samurai is going to close for second. Looks good kill Jammer Cottage in Bronze Demon and Riot Act. Salazzi after that one. Field track all the way back to Marco Van Basten who was off target today and last Samurai I think that's one of the newcomers takes it pretty comfortably it is indeed one of the newcomers last Samurai for Ryan Tamasebi is the winner looks good kill for Craig Allen second and Jammer Cottage for James Shea was third so one two three for the newcomers then Bronze Demon for Paul Rhodes was fourth and the fifth place horse we will get a look at when it comes back down again. I think it might well have been Dazzy Bawley. It was indeed Dazzy Bawley for Dan Hughes.